too late. Our last speaker for today is uh, Xu Xu from uh, the University of uh, Wuhan, who is going to speak to us about the rigidity and deformation of discrete and formal structures on polyhedral surfaces. So Xu Xu, the uh, floor is yours. Okay, thank you. You should be able to share the Yeah, screen. I should share my screen first. Uh, wait a moment. Uh, okay, can you see? Yes, we can see. Okay. <laughs> it's not on screen for now, but uh, maybe that's okay. Okay. Uh, so let's start. Uh, first, I want to thank the organizer for the invitation. That is, a, is my pleasure to give a talk here. Today, I will talk about the rigidity and the deformation of discrete conform structures on polyhedral surface. Uh, A discrete conform structure on polyhedral manifolds is, an, is a discrete analog of the smooth conform structure on manifolds. It assigns a discrete metric defined on S by scalar functions defined on the vertices. The typical examples include the circ packings and the vertex scalings. Uh, uh, the uh, tangential circ packing is a special case of system self packing. I will just uh, review some results for the Distance surface packing and inverse distance surface packings. Okay, let's first have a look at the distance surface packing. Uh, given a triangulated surface MT with a wedge phi from uh, defined on edge with values in zero to pi over two, we can assign every vertex i in in the uh, triangular manifold with a circle with radius on i, and we require that the adjacent circles to intersect with an intersection angle phi ig uh, in, in zero to pi over two. Then the length lij is determined by the cosine law. In this way, Susan proved that the, the, the triangle for, for, for the triangle ijk, the, the length lij, lik, ljk satisfy the triangle in coordinate. So we can, uh, we can uh, attach it with uh, a Euclidean structure by growing the Euclidean triangles asymmetrically along the edge as we can get a, a surface with cone singularities. To describe the cone singularity, we, we introduce the combinatorial curvature k. It is defined to be two pi minus the cone angle at the vertex i. It satisfies the discrete gauss bonnet formula. We have the famous curve end of Susan's theorem for, for Susan's circle packing. Uh, the theorem is composed to, of two parts. The first part is, is about the rigidity. It states that the uh, circle packing metric is determined by the curvature. The second part is about the, the imagine of the curvature. Uh, it is, uh, in fact, a, a convex polyhedral. Uh, recently, Zhou and Ge Hua Zhou have, have some generalization of the KD theorem to, to obtuse intersection angles. Yeah. Uh, there, an effective way to find discrete metric with prescribed combinatorial curvature is the combinatorial curvature flow. Uh, uh, the combinatorial rich flow is introduced by Chiu and Law. Uh, they define it uh, as an analog of the smooth rich flow on surface. They take the uh, Ri as the, the metric and uh, they define the metric according to their uh, combinatorial curvature. They proved that the following are uh, equivalent. Uh, the first is the existence of a constant combinatorial curvature metric. The second is on the convergence of the combinatorial rich flow. Uh, they proved that this, these are equivalent. It provides an effective way to find discrete metrics with, with given pre prescribed, con uh, prescribed combinatorial curvature. Another effective uh, curvature flow is the combinatorial collapse flow. It is introduced by Gould in his PhD thesis. Uh, it, it, it's an analog of the smooth color flow. It is defined or uh, the, the, the fact UI here is uh, deformed according to the Laplacian of, discrete Laplacian of coverage. Uh, uh, it, the combinatorial color flow is a, left, a negative gradient flow of the combinatorial color energy. Uh, Gould further proved uh, that the following Result is it, uh, it he proved that the equivalence between the 
convergence of the combinatorial copy flow and the existence of a constant combinatorial curvature metric. Uh, go and me and then uh, further study the, the hyperbolic version and uh, get the similar results. Okay. Uh, then we come to the inverse distance circuit packing. Inverse distance circuit packing is introduced by Bose and Stephenson. They replaced the, the uh, wedge cosine phi there, uh, uh, with an uh, wedge item defined on edges with values in, in the uh, uh, real numbers. Uh, here we, we can see that if, if we uh, require the wedge item is between zero to one, then the inverse distance circuit packing is Reduced to, uh, is reduced to the system, reduced system circuit packing. For the rigidity of uh, system, uh, for the rigidity for the inverse distance circuit packing, we have the following result. Go prove the local rigidity for for non-negative inverse inverse distance, and the law further prove the global rigidity for for non-negative inverse distance. And uh, recently, I proved the uh, local and global rigidity for. Uh, for the inverse distance larger than minus one. Uh, here we, we, we can uh, have a look at the condition here. We require the, uh, the wedge eta here uh, satisfy some triangle, satisfy some structure condition here. Uh, note that if the wedge eta is non-negative, then the inequalities are satisfied automatically. But in this condition, we allow somewhat of either to be negative. So it generalizes the result of go and draw here. Yeah. Uh, for the combinatorial reach flow of inverse distance circuit packing, uh, we have the following result. Go jump introduced, uh, uh, we know that for, for inverse distance circuit packing metric, the combinatorial reach flow may, de may develop uh, singularities. To handle the singularities, they introduce the extension by extension of the combinatorial curvature by constant. They show that uh, if there, there exists an inverse distance circuit packing with constant combinatorial curvature, then the, uh, the solution of the extended combinatorial coverage reach flow exists for what time and converts exponentially fast. Uh, the problem is here is that uh, long flow uh, under the existence of the combinatorial uh, under the existence of the inverse distance circuit packing with this given combinatorial coverage, the flow can find the, the metric, but a long flow they may the triangles may degenerate. So we, 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 uh, we, we, up to now we don't know how to how, how to over the, how, overcome this uh, overcome this problem. Yeah, uh, how how to solve this problem. A lot of important discrete conformal structure defined on polyhedral surface is the vertex scaling. Uh, it is introduced by Rocky Williams and law independent. Suppose we have two piecewise linear metrics on, on triangular surface, L, L and L tilde. L tilde is called a vertex scaling of L if there exists a function U defined on the vertex such that L tilde IG equals L IG times with exponential of ui plus uj over two. Uh, it is a direct analog of the smooth conformal transformation. Here you, we, we, also call it, uh, we also call it as a conformal factor. The hyperbolic version of vertex scaling was introduced by Babanko Pinko and Springboard. Uh, uh, for the rigidity of vertex scaling, law proved that local rigidity for Euclidean vertex scaling and Babango Pinko Springboard proved the global rigidity for uh, Euclidean and hyperbolic vertex scaling. Uh, Babango Pinko Springboard further uh, observed the deep collection between vertex scaling and uh, hyperbolic geometry. Let's have a look at, uh, at their, uh, their result here. We, I have ju just drawn a two dimension picture here. Uh, we have an ideal triangle. We have an ideal triangle uh, and attach every ideal vertex with a horror cycle. Uh, if we, we assign the lens between the horror cycles as minus ui, minus uj, and two log lij here, then the red part here, the lens of the red part here is just lij tilde. Uh, lij tilde and lij is related exactly by the, uh, by the definition of vertex scaling here. And of course, uh, this is a two-dimensional case. Of course, it, ha uh, uh, it has the three-dimensional case. 
But this is the uh, this is the Euclidean background geometry case. If we are considering the hyperbolic background geometry, we just need to uh, uh, perturb this uh, the the vertex in the bottom to be a high ideal vertex. And then we can see that the the relationship of Lij tilde and Lij is related by 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 the definition introduced by Bobanko, Pinko, and Springborn. Yeah. Uh, for the vertex scaling on polyhedral surface, law further introduced the combinatorial Yamada flow. Uh, it, uh, 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 he further proved the, the local convergence of combinatorial rich flow. But, but uh, sorry, uh, he further proved the local convergence of combinatorial Yamada flow. Uh, but the combinatorial Yamada flow may develop singularities, which correspond to uh, some, for example, some, some triangle degenerate. Uh, uh, there's one way, for, for example, we, we can overcome this uh, difficulty by, uh, by extending the uh, coverage by constant uh, to the, to, to the uh, total, total space. But there's a not bad way. Uh, it is uh, uh, doing surgery by flipping and the dynamic condition along the flow. Uh, suppose uh, that, for example, for, uh, for if for time t in zero to uh, t, Alpha and alpha two alpha prime is alpha and plus alpha prime is less than or equal to pi, and uh, after time t we have alpha and alpha prime it uh, is bigger than pi. Then we can change the triangulation by by change the uh, edge e to f k. We call it a uh, uh, surgery by flipping. Gu Go Luo Shen Wu recently obtained the following result. This the they proved that the solution of the combinatorial Yamaha flow with surgery exists for wartime and converges exponentially fast for any initial any initial pair metric. And they for they even do not need to they do not need to assume the existence of such a uh, such a pair metric. In fact, they proved the existence of uh, of the pair metric with constant combinatorial curvature. They they further proved that for any a combinatorial curvature uh, a function that, that satisfy the discrete Gauss bonnet formula. The, this, the solution of, of, of the uh, combinatorial amount flow with surgery exists for all time and the conversion exponential force. It, it provides a powerful tool to compute discrete metric with given prescribed combinatorial curvature. Uh, is the next is the nature question to ask how many how many uh, uh, is nature to ask the number of uh, whether the number of surgery along the flow is finite? Yes, uh, the, the, the answer is yes. This re, this result is proved by Gu. This result is proved by Wu in his mass thesis. Uh, the hyperbolic version of uh, Gu Luo Shen Wu's result uh, is established by Gu Guo Luo Shen Wu. Yeah. Okay. We can also consider the collapse flow for for vertex scaling here. Uh, the Euclidean case for uh, combinatorial collapse flow for vertex scaling is introduced by Gu in his uh, thesis, and the hyperbolic version is introduced by Zhu and me. We further prove that the solution of combinatorial collapse flow with surgery exists for wartime and converges exponentially fast for any initial. PL or PH metric after final number of surgery. This is a, a parallel, parallel result for, uh, for, for, for the combinatorial rich flow. Yeah. So uh, we have different types of discrete conform structure on, 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 on surface, including, for example, the tangential, tangential circuit packing and the system circuit packing versus distance circuit packing and the vertical scaling. A natural question is that can these different types of uh, discrete conform structures be unified in in, in uh, uh, just one form. The answer is yes. Yeah, uh, there are two approaches to define the generic discrete conform structure. Uh, one approach, uh, one approach is uh, uh, proposed by Zhang Guo Zheng Lo Yao Gu. Uh, they 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 embody the triangle. They embody the triangle in in a generalized hyperbolic tetrahedron. They uh, first they have. Uh, First, we we have uh, uh, in in the picture in the uh, in the figure in the left we we have a uh, generalized hyperbolic tetrahedron here. 
uh, we call W0 uh, as a top vertex. And if, if we want to, if we want to study the uh, study the Euclidean background geometry, we need to uh, require that the zero to be a ideal in, in the hyperbolic, uh, to be a ideal point in of the hyperbolic space, and attach it with a uh, horse field. Then the triangle here, then the triangle here is the is just the triangle we want to construct is just the, the intersection of the a uh, horse field with the hype, with the generalized hyperbolic situation. If we are we want to study the hyperbolic background geometry, we need require a uh, W zero to be hyper ideal and attach W zero with a uh, with the hyperbolic plane due to W zero in the hyperbolic plane, and and then the hyperbolic triangle is is the intersection of the plane due to W zero with the Generalize hyperbolic tetrahedron. If we are considering the spherical background geometry, then W zero is in the uh, hyperbolic space, and the triangle is given by the by uh, the intersection of the uh, unit sphere attached to W zero and the hyperbolic uh, tetrahedron. And uh, of course, you we we found that if we super assign the, the weights on the lengths of the generalized uh, hyperbolic tetrahedron here, we can find that uh, uh, it, we can find that it in fact defined, given, it, it in fact, in fact gives the uh, different types of uh, discrete conformal structures on, on surfaces, including the tangential circle packing, uh, uh, system circle packing, inverse distance circle packing, and uh, the and, uh, vertex scaling. Yeah. Another approach is uh, suggested, uh, another approach is suggested by Glistan. Uh, his approach is from the Riemannian geometry uh, perspective. He defines the discrete conform structure as a function defined on a vertex of the surface and requires that it satisfy the following three conditions. The first is that Lij, the length of Lij, is de determined, it depends on only Fi and Fg. It is an analog of the fact that the, uh, the smooth conformal transformation if but the uh, depends only on, on the uh, conform factor. The second condition is that is the notion uh, partial edge length introduced by this step. Uh, it ensures the existence of a uh, geometric center CIGK for any triangle IGK in, in the triangulation. The third condition is that uh, AI, the, the partial derivative of LIJ with respect to FI is just the DIG. Uh, here, DIG is a partial edge length defined by a uh, click step. Uh, in fact, this the third condition is is satisfied by satisfied by uh, by order order long discrete conform structures. For example, the tangential circle packing, uh, certain circle packing, and uh, uh, inverse distance distance circle packing, and also the vertex scaling case. Chris uh, and his student uh, Thomas. Further study the further introduced uh, in this way the hyperbolic and the spherical version. It's remarkable that the oh okay this is the picture for the geometric center. Classify the discrete conform structure they introduced and uh, finally they have this result for the uh, they have this form uh, for the uh, for the uh, LIG. It could be written as a uh, Quadratic form of uh, E F I with coefficient F I coefficient alpha i alpha j and i high j here. They are here alpha i alpha j and i high j are all constants, and, and they also obtain the hyperbolic background on the case and the spherical version. Okay, note that we, for for the result here for L I J here we can shift uh, the discrete conform structure F. To make the coefficient to to be in minus one zero or one, yeah, they have a. For example, in the case of in the case that alpha i alpha g are positive, we can set h i to be f i plus one over two or log alpha i, and uh, similar for h g, and then uh, set another i i g to that. We can see that uh, l i g square could be written as uh, epsilon i up to e power. Two i five and uh, the other terms I don't want. Uh, yeah, uh, 
Uh, it's interesting that the, the formula here coincides with the 18 different types of discrete conformal structures that is constructed by Zhang Guo Jing Luo Yao. So they, they, they define the same discrete conformal structure using two different approach. So we, we introduce the following definition of, uh, of we have for a triangulated surface M and T, we, we have two, we have two wedges, epsilon. It, the epsilon is defined on the vertex B and have values in minus one, zero, or one. And another wedge is the eta defines on the uh, edge and with values in with, with values in real numbers. Uh, this form conform structure defines the edge lens LIG by, by this formula. Here we, we require that epsilon i, epsilon j, and eta j. Uh, uh, we require epsilon i epsilon j to, to be minus one, zero, or one. Yeah. Uh, we can further also in, in introduce the uh, hyperbolic discrete conform structure in, in the in the form below. Yeah. Okay. And then, uh, we we can compare it with the uh, with the existing discrete form conform structure that has been studied before. Uh, we can see that if water uh, we have the form uh, for for the uh, generic discrete con discrete conform structure here. If water epsilon i are zero, then the generic discrete conform structure is reduced to the vertex scaling. If water epsilon i are war, uh, war one, then uh, the generic discrete conform structure is reduced to inversive distance subpacking. Uh, we know that vertex scaling has global rigidity. We also that we also know that inversive distance subpacking has global rigidity. A natural question is. Uh, does such generic discrete conform structure has has some 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 uh, get expand? Uh, uh, recently, I obtained the following result. Uh, if the wedge epsilon, if, if the wedge epsilon takes value in zero or one, and the wedge i. Eta defines on the edge uh, satisfy the structure structure condition below. Then we the uh, then the discrete conform structure have rigidity. The structure condition here is composed of two parts. The first part is defined on edge. We require that i s t plus epsilon s epsilon t is positive. This in fact ensures that the edgeness is well defined. It means that it's positive. And the second condition is uh, defined on the on the faces uh, average uh, in fact is defined on the on average triangle uh, uh, we require that for n for for, for the vertices uh, uh, vertices we have epsilon q i s t plus i q s times uh, i q t to be non negative in fact I, I want to mention that in fact this condition is satisfied automatically for for a uh, for a generalized hyperbolic transition with the vertex to being ideal or hyper ideal. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's uh, 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 compare it with, compare the condition here with the uh, previous condition for, 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 uh, for uh, studied uh, residue. Uh, if all the epsilon i here are what zero, then we can find that all condition here is reduced to i being positive. This and then, and if all the epsilon are one, then the condition here is reduced to the case, reduced to the condition that we use to prove the global rigidity of inversive distance subpacking. So, uh, this re so our rigidity result generalized the uh, the inversive distance subpacking and uh, generalized the, the rigidity of inversive. They unifies and generalize the result of vertex uh, uh, scaling and uh, inverse distance packing. Okay, they can also uh, one can also uh, in, introduce the combinatorial rich flow for uh, for such discrete conform structure on polyhedral surface. 
This is introduced by John Guo, Jim Roy, Al, and Gu. Uh, the, uh, for in the usually in background geometry, we just need to set UI to be FI here. But for the hyperbolic background geometry, we need to reparameterize re the FI as uh, UI here. Uh, we have the following definition of, uh, of, of the combinatorial rich flow. We can also define uh, uh, we can also define the combinatorial cloudy flow, but the result is not, uh, not so good, so we don't want to present it. And the discrete conform structure uh, may de de develop singularities. So, uh, so we, first we want, we want to extend it. We prove that the solution of the long-lived combinatorial rich flow could be extended to exist for what time? This is the first, first result. The second result is that the solution of the extended combinatorial flow is unique for any initial data. Note that the, the, the extended coverage K2 here is just a continuous function. And it's just a continuous function. And it don't have any latest continuous property. So they, but, and so by the standard ODC, ODC rule, we do not use for, for, for the uh, solution of the extended combinatorial rich flow. But under the structure condition, under structure condition, we can prove that uniqueness. It in fact it depends on the on some depends on the convexity of the energy function. Uh, the third result is that if there exists a Euclidean discrete conform structure F star with constant combinatorial coverage, then the solution of uh, then the solution of the uh, combinatorial rich flow, uh, then the solution of the extended combinatorial rich flow converts exponential force for any initial data. And this provides uh, an algorithm to, 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 to find uh, discrete metrics with, with constant combinatorial coverage. Uh, of course, we can perturb the, uh, we can replace the constant com combinatorial coverage uh, in the definition of combinatorial rich flow with some prescribed combinatorial coverage. And the result is also uh, valid here, okay. Uh, so uh, the problem here is this, is similar for the for the inverse distance packet that along the extended flow the triangles may degenerate. Uh, even through that, we prove the global convergence under the existence of of, of the discrete conform structure with prescribed uh, uh, combinatorial coverage, but we cannot prevent it. Uh, the we cannot prevent it, the, the triangles to, to degenerate. So, okay. Uh, there's lots of problem left. For example, the, uh, the, 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 the first is, uh, problem is the convergence of discrete conform structure uh, to the Riemann mapping. Uh, we know that certain ones conjecture that the tangential soft packing could be used to approximate the Riemann, Riemann mapping. This was uh, this conjecture was uh, first proved by Rodin and Sutton, and then first studied by her and Schur and others uh, in the circle packing case. For the vertical scaling case, uh, Wu, Gu, and Xun, and uh, Luo Xun, Wu, and Wu, and Zhu uh, 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 recently studied the vertical scaling, the vertical scaling case. Uh, a natural uh, question is that uh, the generalization of the uh, of the uh, circle packing and uh, vertical scaling, the generic uh, is certain conjecture still true for generic discrete conform structure. We believe that this is true, but uh, up to now we don't have any answer. Uh, 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 we don't have any answer to this question. Uh, the second question is that the existence of generic discrete conform structure with prescribed combinatorial coverage. Uh, we, we know that for circle packing, we, we have the uh, famous uh, curve and certain theorem for certain circle packing. Yeah. Uh, but and for 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 vert scaling case, we, we have discrete conform, we have uh, discrete uniformization for for vert scaling. Uh, this result belongs to Gu Lo Shun Wu and uh, for the Euclidean case and Gu Guo Lo Shun for the hypotic version. 
Recently, uh, the Supreme Court also get some result on the uniformization of, of the uh, discrete of the uh, bus scaling. Uh, so uh, the generalization of, of subpacking and uh, bus scaling, uh, can we get similar results for uh, geodesic? Uh, for, for, can we get similar results for uh, generic discrete conformal structure on polyhedral surface? Uh, a possible way, I, I think, uh, is uh, to uh, is following Gu Lo Xun Wu to to introduce the notion of uh, dominant condition. But here we need to re replace the standard dominant condition by uh, by wedge dominant condition by, by the condition of wedge dominant. Here we we need to require that uh, uh, the uh, in this condition here the uh, okay we we will explain this condition later. That means that uh, we know that the every triangle edge k is uh, ha has a geometric C edge k, uh, geometric center C edge k, and if we have two adjacent uh, uh, triangles i j k and i j k i j l, then this condition means that the sided lengths between the C i j k and C and C i j l being non-negative. Okay. Uh, I think this condition should be imposed to, 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 to get the results here. Uh, the third problem is about the convergence of combinatorial curvature of this surgery. We know that uh, uh, for certain circuit packing, we, have, we can prove the convergence of combinatorial rich flow and the combinatorial calabi flow. And for the versus scaling case, we can prove the convergence of combinatorial rich flow and the calabi flow with surgery. Uh, but, but up to now, for, for the inverse distance packing and the generic, generic discrete conformal structure, they can only extend the coverage by constant uh, to, to, to the total space. And this result can be, for such extensions, we need to assume the existence of a uh, discrete conformal structure with given prescribed, given combinatorial coverage. So, so the natural question is that. Uh, can we remove the condition on the existence? Uh, but but I think the the, the uh, remove the existence is is too strict. And as in the case of certain circuit packing, we, we need to assume such conditions. So we, we, we can ask another question. Can can we just prove similar result for 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 the just the prove the convergence for combinatorial rich flow and the uh, uh, combinatorial calabi flow with surgery? Yeah. Can we doing some surgery uh, by flipping under the wedge dominant condition to 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 the uh, rich flow and the combinatorial column flow? I think the uh, they believe this result. Uh, I, I think this result should be true, but I don't know. Up to now, they don't know how to prove it. Okay, I think uh, we have enough time, so I, I, I will give some details for the proof of the rigidity. Oh, sorry. The, any question up to now? Okay, let's go on. Uh, we, we, we will give some, uh, give the uh, offline of the proof for rigidity. With uh, the main steps here, uh, it, in fact, it is, uh, the proof is in fact using uh, a, a, a variational principle. Uh, they, the proof is composed of three steps. The first, in the first step, we will give an analytic characterization of the invisible space of discrete conform structures defined on a triangle. Uh, in the second step, we will pro prove that the Jacobian matrix of uh, C that with respect to U is negative, de uh, negative definite. In, in fact, in the Euclidean case, it is negative semi-definite. In the sixth step, it will be extended in the angle uh, to be by constant to be a globally defined uh, continuous function, and then extended the locally defined energy function e i j k k uh, to be a globally defined c one concave function defined on R three. Note that in fact this ex extension was uh, this method uh, by extension was first introduced by Babanko, Pinko, and Springborn. They they use this method uh, to prove the global rigidity of vertex scaling. Uh, but the convexity of the uh, function uh, here depends on the uh, volume of, of with respect to the dihedral angle uh, of the uh, ideal tetrahedron. Uh, 
Another approach suggested is uh, proposed by law is uh, law and go and law is to for, uh, is this way we we we, we use here. Uh, we first uh, find uh, give a correlation of the admissible space and then prove the Jacobian matrix is negative definite. In the, and then in the final step we 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 extend the angles to be a globally defined defined function and then prove that the courage is in fact uh, globally uh, injective. So let's uh, have a look at uh, have a look at the first step. We know that the degenerate condition for uh, for the triangle is uh, uh, is that we require that the uh, edge l i j l i k edge k satisfy the triangle inequality. But this triangle the triangle inequality has a global form. We can just write it in this way. Uh, the, then we can reduce three triangle inequality to just one inequality. Uh, in this by direct by direct calculations, we can uh, reduce to reduce the triangle inequality to, to QE being positive. The QE is going to be written in this form. The, the notations are, are here. In fact, the cup i we use we use introduce some some notion cup i. The cup i here uh, in is in some sense some uh, relate to the coverage of some circle of radius ri of uh, ri is equal to like e, e power uh, exponential of f i k. Okay, uh, the, this formula can, uh, looks a little complicated, yeah. Uh, but if they can then further uh, for QE, this uh, this uh, this expression is a little complicated. So we introduce the following notation. We set H I here, set H I being being uh, H and I H and J minus I square of uh, F J K square uh, cup I and plus cup J gamma K and then plus cup K gamma J. And then we can write QE as the summation of cup I H I, cup J H J and the cup K H K. It's very symmetric. It is symmetric notion. Uh, it is symmetric. Uh, in the case, if we know that if F I F J F K is a degenerate discrete conform structure, we have QE being in, uh, the QE should be less than or equal to zero. Uh, this implies that at least one, at least one of H i, H j, and, and H k should be non-positive. But we can get a much stronger result that one of H i and H j and H k is negative, and the others are, the others are positive. <clears throat> this is not so trivial, but we have a nice geometric explanation for this result. Okay, let's ha have a look at this picture. We know that for generic discrete conform structure, we, we can attach a geometric center CIJK here to, to the triangle. And we can define the sign the distance for uh for CIJK to the uh, to the to the edge uh, VG and VK. The uh, the sign the distance is denoted by HJKI here. HGKI is positive if the uh, geometric center CIJK is on the same side of the line determined by VG and VK as that of the triangle VIVGVK. It is otherwise it's, it is negative. Uh, by direct calculation, we found we find that the, the sign distance HGKI and HI here has a nice relationship here. We can prove that. Note that the first term, uh, note that the, the first term a, I, a, L, I, J, and the exponential term and the cup i are all positive. So the sign of H, J, K, I, the, the sign of H, J, K, I, and H, I are all the same. Uh, okay, another fact is uh, you should note that is uh, when the triangle degenerate, for example, the triangle uh, becomes more and more flat, we, we can see that the, the geometric center CIJK should be out of the triangle. That means that uh, one of HI and HA and HK should be negative and the others should be positive. Uh, motivated by this observation, we can prove the, uh, prove the, the lemma uh, uh, about uh, strictly. So we, we can, so we have uh, one of HI and HA and HK, it should be 
it negative and the others being positive in the degenerate case. Using this case, we can further uh, uh, further solve the degenerate space. We can further solve the degenerate space of the uh, a, a discrete conform structure. Uh, we can we first take the QE being negative, being non non being and non positive to be a uh, quadratic inequality in kappa i. Uh, we can write it as this form. Uh, kappa I, a i kappa i square plus b i kappa i m plus c i uh, being 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 non negative, and we we can prove that the first thing is that we, we can check that the uh, the discriminant delta i is non negative, and the second important relationship of, uh, we ob observed is that we have two a i kappa i plus b i equals minus two h i here, uh, so. Using this condition, they, they can solve the space of degenerate discrete conform structure on a triangle. So, uh, so in fact, we, we, then we can solve the admissible space. In fact, we, we solve the admissible space of non degenerate discrete conform structure by solving the space of degenerate discrete conform structure. Uh, we have the following result here the admissible space omega ij, omega ijk eta is. Uh, R3 minus the disjoint union of V alpha. Here V alpha is uh, is uh, is bounded by uh, an analytical graph uh, defined on R2, and and uh, we, from this result we can see that the admissible space omega e i j k in fact is is simply collective. Uh, I'd like I'd like to, to draw a picture of uh. For example, I, I'd like to draw the total space as a triangle here. Uh, if uh, all the V alpha are, are empty, then the total space is R3. If one of A i A j A k is positive, then we have the, this picture. We have uh, the admissible space is R3 minus the shade part. Shade part. Uh, we can see that in this case, the, the, the admissible space is, is simply collective. Uh, also, if uh, two of A i A j A k is uh, positive, then we have uh, this picture. Uh, we, and uh, the last case is three of the A i A j A k is uh, positive, then we have the uh, first case. In fact, this case is cor cor correspond to the vertical scaling case. So, uh, in any case, we can we can get that the admissible space is uh, simply collective. Uh, up to now, we have so up to now we have a uh, a prescribe, precise uh, description of uh, the admissible space and uh, the degenerate space of or uh, degenerate of the space of degenerate discrete conform structure. Okay, uh, and the step, second step is to to prove the negative definition of the Jacobi matrix on a triangle. The symmetry of this Jacobi matrix is uh, uh, is known for a long time, long long time. So uh, we just list the the uh, we, we, we list the result here. The, the, the problem is that how can we prove this symmetric matrix to be negative semi-definite? First, we have the following result on the rank of the Jacobian matrix. Uh, we prove that under the structure condition one, the rank of the Jacobian matrix is in, is in fact two. Uh, we can by the chain rules we can. Write the Jacobian matrix as the product of these two matrices. Uh, for the first metric, we, matrix, we, we can get the rank is too easy. And for the second matrix, we can prove that the rank is three under the structure condition. In fact, the, the second result is uh, a direct calculation by, by, by the uh, that direct calculation of the determinant. And then uh, the, uh, the the rank is a uh, 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 the rank is a direct consequence of the, of the fact that the determinant is non-zero. Okay, so by this result, we know that the eigenvalues of the Jacobian matrix uh, has two non-zero, and the other one is zero. And then the following, and then the question is then re reduced to find a good point uh, such that the the Jacobian matrix has uh, has negative negative values. Uh, uh, 
but by the continuity of the uh, uh, angling value of the Jacobi matrix, we, we just need to find a good point in the uh, admissible space. But for fixed iter, uh, such a point is not easy to find. So we further introduced we further introduced the uh, parallelized admissible space. We we involve the per, per, parameter i i j i i k and i j k in the parallelized admissible space. Uh, and the parallelized admissible space is a uh, uh, is a uh, uh, is a three is a six dimension object. We can prove that the uh, parallelized admissible space is connected. Then in the in the parallelized admissible space, it's easy to find a good point with uh, uh, with, with, with the property we need. In fact, we can take take the point of 0, 0, 0, and 1, 1, 1 here. It's easy to check that for the HI we, we defined before, HI is positive under the condition that epsilon takes value in 0 or 1. Also, the, 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 the case is uh, uh, true for HJ and HK. So in this case, we can find that uh, at this point, the minus Jacobi matrix is in fact diagonal dominant. This implies that the original uh, uh, Jacobi matrix uh, uh, is negative semi-definite. So uh, then the uh, following of proof is standard. Uh, they need, uh, they can, uh, as we have a precise description of the uh, admissible space, we can then we can extend the inner angles of of the uh, triangle to be a by constant to be a continuous function defined on on R three. This is the extension of the uh, inner angles. Uh, then we can further uh, define a local uh, a local energy function by the symmetry of the Jacobi matrix and the symmetric correctness of the admissible space. We can define the local energy function E i j k. It is a uh, it is the in, in, integral of the one form defined by c i d u i plus c j d u j and c k d u k. Uh, it is a smooth, locally concave function defined on the, on the misp space. Uh, but this 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 function is, is enough to prove the local rigidity. But if we want to extend the local rigidity to the global rigidity, we need to use the extension introduced by Bobenko, Pinko, and Springborn. And then further developed by law, use the extension here that we can extend the n local energy function a i j k to be a c one concave function defined on R three. It is e tilde here, e tilde i j k here, uh, with the with the one form replaced by c i tilde d y and plus c j tilde d u j and c k tilde d u k. Yeah, and and then we can use this extended local energy function to, uh, to be uh, used to, to construct a global uh, energy function e tilde here. The e tilde here is a C1 smooth convex function defined on R n with gradient being the extended uh, combinatorial curvature k tilde. Yeah, the k tilde uh, is uh, extension. Uh, yeah. Then the global rigidity of K follows from the convexity of the energy function E to. Uh, I think I need to stop here. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Shishi, for this uh, extensive uh, presentation on uh, the rigidity of all these discrete and formal uh, structures. Any questions? So we have a question here from David. Yeah. Hi, Shu. Thanks. Hi. This is very interesting work. Um, I, I was wondering if you um, thought about um, extending uh, beyond, beyond these conditions. So, I mean, it's great. These conditions cover most of the cases that, we're, that we've been thinking about for many years, uh, which is fantastic. But there's some other ones that are kind of close so like, for instance, if you take sort of a, the difference of radii, so if you have circles, you take the difference of radii, that is really close to your condition, but it's like an equality case where you have an inequality, a strict inequality. Um, so I didn't know if you thought at all about sort of pushing, pushing, the, 
pushing it a little bit further. Oh, sorry. I, I did get a, a get a new point. Okay. You mean that can we get some some more general conditions on, for example, the the the, the structure condition? That's right. I, Oh, I don't, I don't know, I don't know such condition. In fact, the, the, the condition here is, uh, I, 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 I obtain this condition is uh, from the, uh, first I note that the, the condition is, uh, I believe that this result is true because that for the, for, for the construction here, I, I, I can show you that here. We, we, we know uh, this construction, this, uh, the the uh, Zhang Gu Zheng Luo Yao Gu's approach. It is uh, uh, based on the three-dimensional hyperbolic geometry. So, uh, if all the vertices are ideal or hyper-ideal, we know that uh, the 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 volume should be have some some types of convexity. So, I believe this result should be true. So, I, I investigate this this result, but. Uh, but uh, for other conditions, I don't, up to now, I don't know. Uh, I don't know other bad conditions, I, I don't know. Maybe, yeah. Uh, I, once I tried the, the in, uh, once I tried the virtual readers, uh, virtual readers, so I, I, I cannot prove any, any good results, good results for, for such, yeah. Uh, that that's can correspond to the epsilon being minus one, but I cannot get any good result. Thanks. Any other question for Xu Xu? If there are not, I think we should thank again Xu Xu for this uh, really interesting talk on uh, discrete conformal uh, maps and it's a uh, generalized formulation that combines circle packing and uh, vertex scaling. I think we reached the end of uh, the first day of uh, our workshop. It was quite a long day. We had uh, many uh, presentations and uh, it's uh, for some of you, it's early in the morning. For some of you, it's very late in the uh, evening or it, it depends on uh, where you sit and uh, I really want to finish by thanking all the speakers we had uh, uh, we had today both of, I mean 